Hi everyone, Dr. Goyal from PQ Human Labs, and today I want to talk with Carmelia about uh, liquid cancer biopsies. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with that, but I do Never get a lot of, of patients asking me, is there a blood test that can diagnose cancer? Okay. And you know what? There actually are some of these companies now that are promoting a test that can detect up to 50 different cancers wow. in, a, in a blood test. So yeah, because biopsies scare a lot of people, and they're they're invasive, isn't that? When they put yeah, a needle, put a needle in, yeah, and usually they have to know where to put the biopsy. Right. Like the, the whole idea of a, what we call an MCD, multi-cancer detection test, is that you could diagnose something way before it became an actual, you know, okay. tumor. And then hopefully the idea is that by uh, diagnosing it early, you could get treatment for pretty quickly. Now, is this liquid cancer biopsy something that would be routine for a healthy person, or would it be something that would replace the need for biopsy? I think that at this stage, right now at this stage, it does. It's there's a lot of questions, and I would like to maybe jump into that, yeah. like the pros and cons of some of these type of tests. But I think eventually the idea was that, yeah, you would just go to your doctor and do a blood test, and you, would, you wouldn't have to do biopsies or uh, screening tests like x-rays and CT mm -hmm. scans and MRIs and such like that. Instead, you would just have a simple blood test and it would show whether or not you'd have cancer or not. I think that's where you'd like to get to. Yeah. And the technology looks like it's slowly getting there, but there are some concerns. So these blood tests are looking for specific types of proteins and that are mm -hmm. microscopic amounts in, in the blood that can be signs of cancer in the body somewhere. But the problem with some of these tests is that, first of all, um, they don't. They only can identify maybe 50, half of the cancer. So even if you get wow. a clean, clean bill of health, it doesn't mean that you're completely cancer-free. Right. It just means that there's you know, that many. There's more than 50 types of cancers. Oh no, I don't mean types of cancer. Oh. 50 percent of the time that you have cancer. Oh, let's say okay. you have cancer. It's not as accurate. It's only. It's missing half of them. Got it. So that's a pretty big deal because. Even if you get a clean bill of health, it doesn't necessarily mean there's no cancer. Right. It just means, yes, there's less chance, but you still may have cancer. Okay. So that's one thing. The second thing is that it doesn't, we don't have studies that show that it actually lengthens people's lives. So sometimes people have a microscopic cancer, but they don't die from it. They never find out about it. It doesn't cause a problem. Really? Like a lot of the concerns about prostate cancer testing with PSAs was all about that. It was the idea that we don't need to be testing people with PSAs at younger ages because the chance of it actually causes more harm than good. That's wow. why a lot of testing isn't necessarily recommended you start it at a very young age. We wait till there's a chance that there's a higher chance of you actually getting a positive result and it would make a difference because if you just get a positive result when you're younger and we know that 90% of them are false positives then you have to go through all that testing and, and headache, mm. and it still turns out to be negative. And so there's false, I, I, I hadn't even, I didn't even know someone could have a false positive that's cancer a very, test. That's a very common thing. I, I had mean, no idea. And especially in a blood test, okay. there could be other reasons that the protein is elevated. For example, let's come back to a PSA, which is called a prostate-specific antigen test. And this is a common test that's done. For men? Yeah, for men okay. looking at prostate Women have cancer. a prostate, right? No. <laughs> no, oh, men, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> men, there you yeah. And um, so, they, so they have prostate, and that number goes up as time goes up. And okay. sometimes it just goes up because men's prostates get bigger as we get older. Okay. But it also could go up in, in prostate cancer. So there's, even if someone's number's going up, it doesn't necessarily mean it's prostate cancer, but it does cause a lot of anxiety because if it does go up, then you have to go for an ultrasound and then mm -hmm. you have to go for a biopsy and then you may be diagnosed with very early stage. A blood test for cancer versus the regular biopsy, is it because the regular biopsy is, you've already detected the cancer, Yeah, right? how would you okay. know to go, where would you go right. to biopsy something? It doesn't, yeah, it's you already have it then. Yeah, it's already yeah. there. The whole idea with the these blood tests would be to find it way before it became into an actual problem and, but, and, and then to, treat and, it. Right. And to your point, though, detecting that cancer, you still don't know where it is, and that's why yeah. you have to, that's yeah. one of the, the you cons. You still need to look for yeah. it. Where is it? And then it causes a lot, lot of anxiety. And the, it could be false positive. And it could be false yeah. positive. And it could be even a type of cancer that grows so slowly that doesn't actually cause a problem. Right. So we don't have these type of studies that prove that we're going to prevent people from dying 
by using these tests. That's okay. one of the, that's a lot of the screen tests. There is data for that. Mm -hmm. If you do a mammogram, if you're over 50, there are benefits that show that you actually live longer because it finds cancers that would have been early treated. detection. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the whole idea with the liquid liquid cancer biopsy. So I just want to bring it out there. There's a couple of companies out there. They're really in the states, though. They're okay. not really present for Canada. They Is it pri private or pub? Like it's all anybody private. can all private. You have to pay about $1,000. Okay. One of the tests is called the GRAIL test, which is available in Canada, available in the U.S., and it looks at, again, 50 different cancers. But again, there are some cons to this type of testing is yeah. what I want to bring out. Well, tech, the good thing is there's always technological advances, right? And I'm glad that it's early detection, but I guess you just have to deal with the consequences. Yeah, I would just say that people should go in there with eyes wide open. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily... We're not, it not, might, might not be ready for prime time, but the, the message here is that it's coming. I think mm -hmm. within five years, we will have these tests available. And then you can have the test done and you can be rest assured that your chance of having cancer is much lower than if you didn't do the test. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. I learned a lot. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.